Hello everyone, this is Pippin Williamson from Pippin's Pages and Pippin'sPlugins.com. In this quick video, I'm going to demo you my Post by Taxonomy Widget Pro plugin. It's a simple plugin that provides us a simple yet powerful widget that allows us to list our taxonomy terms and the post inside of those terms. Uh, so for example, we could list all of the different terms or categories inside of the te category taxonomy and then the, the posts that are then filed inside of those. Uh, the easiest way for me to explain it is just go ahead and show it to you. Uh, so we're going to go down here and activate it. It's called Post by Taxonomy Widget Pro. We'll activate it. And now we're going to go over to our widgets menu. And inside of our widgets menu, we have the Post by Taxonomy Pro widget, which is right here. So we're going to take it over and drop it into our widgetize sidebar. We have a variety of options. First of all, is our widget title, um, Post by Taxonomy Terms. And now we can choose a taxonomy that we want to display. Uh, so in this case, let's start out with category and then I'll show you the others. We have the option to link terms to their archive pages. So if we click this, each category or each term inside of the taxonomy will be linked to the archive page for that term. Uh, this is the maximum number to show per term. That's the number of posts we're going to display. Uh, and then we can also choose the post type to display. So if we have a custom post type that has the default category attached to it, we could choose that here. Uh, we also have the option to display post titles and thumbnails and also the thumbnail size and also how we want to align the thumbnail. Uh, we can choose to display the post author and also the post date. So let's click save and now let's go over and take a look at that. And here it is. Uh, so what it's done here is listed each of the categories inside of our category taxonomy and then it's also listed at least two or three of the post inside of each of those terms. So for example, in the blog category, there's one post. In design, there are two posts. We can see uh, the author, the title, and the date it was published, as well as the thumbnail. In our feature category, we have these three posts, portfolio, those three, etc. We can click on the term name, and it takes us to the category archive, which you can see right there, for feature. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Let's go and take a look at a custom taxonomy. Uh, so now we're going to choose to display the FAQ topics, which is for uh, the Sugar FAQs plugin that I have, which is another plugin available from Code Canyon. So we're going to select our FAQ topics, then we're going to choose the FAQs post type because we need to make sure that the two are associated with each other. We're going to disable the thumbnails for now, and we're going to click Save. Now we we'll refresh, and now you'll see that we have our, our FAQ topics here. And if I show you them over here, here they are. You can see the three right there. And now we can see those three topics and the FAQs inside of each one of them. You notice that each item is linked to its page and each term is linked to its archive page. Okay, let me show you one more. Uh, let's go back over here and let's choose our uh, types. And this is going to be types of restaurants in this case. So we're going to choose our restaurants post type. We're going to disable the author and we're going to disable the date and click save. And now if we go back over here, we see we've got burgers, sandwiches, seafood, and inside of each of those we have the restaurants that are categorized inside of that particular type of restaurant. Uh, so this is a really cool little widget that allows us to display uh, each of the terms inside of a custom taxonomy and the, each of the posts inside of that term. Uh, what this really means is that it's a really, really great way to display information inside of a directory type website. So you can see in this example, we have um, each of the restaurants listed, each of the types of restaurants listed, and then the restaurants within each type. Um, so whatever kind of directory website you're using, this will benefit you uh, to a huge degree because you can use it for anything. Uh, but you can also use it for things like FAQs, like I showed you as well, um, or simply blog categories. So this is Post by Taxonomy Widget. Uh, it's a premium plugin available from CodeCanyon.net. Um, I hope you like it. Uh, also, just a note is that it's extremely useful when pairing it with my Easy Custom Content Types plugin because that will allow you to very easily create a directory type website and this is what you're going to use to display um, each of the categories within that directory, each of the sections, etc. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.